All right, guys, so today I am going to show you how to style your 12 to 18 inch full volume extension if you want this look. So keep watching if you want to see how to do this hustle curl look. If you want the curling iron that I'm using today, then check out the description and I will put this link in there for you guys to be able to purchase. Um, and if you're interested in any of the hair care products that I'm using, you can inbox us and we will also um, have those available for you guys. So keep watching. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm going to take my curling iron and just curl my own hair just a little bit. I am going to curl the piece in with my hair afterwards, but I've only dried my hair, so it sticks straight and I need it to blend with the texture that I'm going to be putting in the piece. I don't take a lot of time when I'm doing my own hair because I am going to be going back again while I have the volume extension in my hair. And if you guys are interested in this curling iron, you can inbox us and I'm happy to send you the link to purchase it. I love it. It's really great for long hair because the barrel is so much longer than a regular curling iron. And I like to do it where my ends are straight. So when I get to the ends, I like pull it down. As you can see when I do this next section, how I kind of let the hair go from the curling iron makes a difference on the ends being straight or not. So I'm kind of turning it, turning it. I'm gonna leave the ends out, spray it just a little bit with my Moroccan oil. Hold it for just a second. I did a really thick piece this time. And then when I'm letting it go, I'm going to wrap around. And when I get to the very ends, I'm going to go straight down and see how that makes it just straight on the ends. You'll be able to see a little bit better from this side. And like I said, I really don't take super small sections or anything because I'm going to be going back and my own hair is going to be covered up anyways, other than the bottom of my hair. I have it on like a medium heat setting, so it's not cut all the way up. For my own hair, I do cut it up probably one more than I do with the volume extension. Just because my own hair is so straight, it does not curl easily, whereas my volume extension does curl really easily. Now, my hair is also really, really soft and silky which sounds great and all until you actually have that type of hair. So it's really hard to get any volume at all in my own hair. So what I like to do is I like to use um, the Fab Four Texture Spray, and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. I did put a little bit in there before I started curling my hair, and I'll put a little bit more in, and that actually helps me in the front to be able to blend my volume extension with my own hair. See how thin it is? Bad. <laughs> Could be worse though. At least I have a volume extension. Can cover it up. All right, so I used the Moroccan oil hairspray um, the entire time that I was curling it with the curling iron. And now I'm going to take the Fab Four that I was telling you about and actually spray that right along the hairline. It just gives my hair a little bit more texture. It's very similar to a volume powder, except for it's almost like if a volume powder and a hairspray were combined into one. So even when my hair is just a little bit dirty, a little bit oily maybe, this also kind of works as a dry shampoo too. So I I use a lot, <laughs> I use a lot of the Fab Four. I love the Fab Four. I don't really spray this on the ends though. I don't, you know, I wouldn't use this while I'm curling my hair or anything because that's gonna make this a lot bigger when I just want this to stay and hold. This isn't really for holding something into place or anything. And it smells really, really good too. Okay, now, there are two different ways that you can do this. You could have your head and stand and then you could pin your piece on your head and you could curl your piece and then put it, put it on after it's already curled and then maybe just touch up the front pieces. I just like to do it while it's in my hair. I feel like it's easier and it goes ahead and it blends all the curls together in the front. I do not curl my piece every single day. If I have to recurl my own hair every day, that's fine, but I don't really need to do that with the piece. 
Now this piece in particular, the last time I wore this piece, um, it actually got rained on just a little bit. So that's why I wanna go back and I wanna curl it just to make it blend in with my hair. All right, so I always make sure that my piece, I can run my fingers through it. If you feel like it's been a while since you've shampooed it or anything, then you might want to use some of the Glimmer Shine spray from Moroccan Oil, and I actually have already sprayed that in there. It makes it really, really soft, and it doesn't make it feel like there's a lot of hairspray in it. And this is the 12 to 18 inch full volume extension in the color Giselle Balayage, and then I have gone in and um, done a custom darker root on it because this is a little bit more golden and a little bit lighter before I color it. So make sure if you're wanting my exact color, we do offer a custom color fee to actually balayage it exactly like my piece for you, or you can have your own hairdresser do it as well. So after I've combed through this, then I actually go through after this is set for just a second, and I just run my fingers through my own hair like this. Nothing fancy. All right, so now I'm going to go in, open all four clips. The only time that your piece should have the clips open is when you're taking it off, taking it off and putting it back on. So when you take your piece off and you go to lay it down at night or put it on your head and stand, you always want to make sure your clips are closed then, and that way none of the hair can actually get inside of your clips, all right? I like to take a thumb on each side of the front clip, flip it over my head, and then take it and turn it underneath. Just like that. Then I do the next set of clips and then I do the back and this is going to blend a lot more once I um, comb through it and style it like my hair because right now this is stick straight and then my hair is curly underneath. You can see why that would propose a problem. <laughs> so now I'm going to cut this down one notch. The first time that you're doing this, if your piece is brand new, you might want to use a little bit of hairspray in your piece when you're curling it because I already have a little bit of hairspray in there and it hasn't been shampooed in a long time. I really don't need to put any more hairspray in it or anything um, until I'm blending the front at the very, very end once I'm done curling it. So I'm just taking bigger sections just like I was when I was curling my own hair. And because um, my piece all the pieces have a natural body wave in them, you really don't have to style them every day or turn the heat up as high. But make sure you're using a professional iron. Once I'm finished, I'll actually go around the top here and pick up just a few pieces and do some curls just a little bit closer up to the scalp area. And that's kind of a little trick that you can do so that you don't have to use so many sections to curl. You can use bigger sections and then just put a couple of pieces up at the top. But the main thing you want to make sure that you always blend is just right around your face. And every person clips theirs in at a different spot. I like to go about two fingertips behind my hairline. But I also have some clients that really don't have a lot of hair at all and they do have to go closer to the hairline. And then I also have clients that have a lot of hair that wear it just to cover up their regrowth and they can go even further back than I can. I just don't have enough hair to go further back than two fingertips. And in the front, I always like to pull the hair forward like this and then curl it back. And it just helps it to blend a little bit more. I don't like to leave that piece on long because I don't like it not like too, too curly. Now I'm going to go back right here. It's just this very front piece. And you can see when I hold this back, this is my own hairline. And that's what makes it look so real is that you're actually seeing my own hair in the front. And we're just going to go straight back with the curl and iron. Like that. There we go. All right, so now that I'm finished curling the bottom, I'm just going to take those few pieces that we were talking about and just curl those, and then we'll run our fingers through it and we'll be finished. I think sometimes people really overthink styling the piece. 
you really just style it like it's your own hair. If you don't want your hair to look like it's as um, volumized as mine, you can actually skip this part and not do the curls at the top, but I'm Southern and I like big hair. So we're definitely gonna do that part of mine. All right, so now I'm just gonna let this sit for about five minutes so the curls can cool off. And then once it cools off, we're gonna run our fingers through it. So now we wait. All right, so now we're gonna run our fingers through it. And I just kind of start by just kind of finger combing it really. You kind of want more of like the California waves where it's not as, you know, um, spiraled of a curl. You could actually take a brush and spray a little hairspray in it and comb through it. But today I'm not really going for that look. I'm looking for more of a separated kind of a spiral curl. And then so now I'm going to take my hairspray. I'm taking my ring off because I don't like the hairspray all on it. And I like to comb the front of my hair back and spray that. And that is blending the piece in with my own hair. And that way all you see in the very front is my own hairline right there. Same thing with this side. This is what it looks like. And then if you wanted it to have just a little bit more sleekness at the bottom, you can take some of my argon oil or you can take a little bit of the Glimmer Shine by the Moroccan oil and just spray just a little bit of this on the ends. I wouldn't suggest spraying it on the top though. That's gonna weigh the hair down. And that's really all it needs. I'll spin around for you guys. And that is how I style my volume extension. Thanks for watching, guys.